The Battle of Kiseki was a confrontation between German and South Africa forces near the town of Kiseki, German East Africa, on 7 the 11th of September 1916. Chapter 1 Background Paul Emil von Lethoff Vorbeck was appointed the military commander of the German colonial forces known as the Schutztrupp Protection Force in German East Africa on 13 April 1914. When World War I broke out in August 1914, he ignored orders from Berlin and his governor, and seized the initiative to attack the British city of Taveta. After repulsing General Aitken's attack on Tanga and Longido in November 1914, he gathered his forces and supplies and moved to harass the British rail communications in East Africa, helping the German war effort by tying down as much British troops possible in East Africa. Letoff Vorbeck eventually managed to gather a force of about 12,000 soldiers, most of them native Askari, led by a highly motivated officer corps of both German and Askari descent. In 1916, Letoff Vorbeck had managed to successfully harass the British Central Railway to Uganda without being forced in an engagement, which he would certainly lose being hopelessly outnumbered. After leaving Dar es Salaam to the British, he withdrew to a position in the easily defended Al Uguru Mountains. Letoff Vorbeck was planning to make a stand there, allowing his supplies to move south before going there with the main force himself. General Jan Smuts detached the 3rd Infantry Division, led by Cohen Brits and the 1st Mounted Brigade, led by Nussi from the main South African force on the Central Railway and had planned that the Mounted Division would be available to flank the German forces while the 3rd Infantry Division engaged the enemy, but he failed to take the rugged terrain into consideration. Chapter 2 – The Battle The German shoot struck and prepared defensive positions outside the town of Kiseki. 200 troops were stationed around the town, 1,000 were kept as a mobile reserve to the west while another 1,000 were kept in reserve on the other side of a mountain. On 7 September 1916, the 3rd Infantry Division conducted a frontal assault on the defensive positions of the Schutztruppen. German field artillery and 4.1-inch guns, salvaged from the SMS Königsberg, lasted the South African formations. The 1st Mounted Brigade attempted to maneuver around the flank and prepared to assault on the German positions. However, the treacherous terrain, and loss of the radio linking them to 3rd Infantry Division, caused them to arrive on 8 September. Letoff Vorbeck's reserve was positioned in a good position to strike the cavalry with guns and rifles and the South Africans were routed. Smuts called off the attack on the 11th of September and withdrew his forces to the Central Railway. Letoff Vorbeck had gained some breathing space from the British forces pursuing him, and on the 14th of September he abandoned Kisaki and marched his forces south to establish a new base at Biho Biho. Chapter 3 Sources Askaris, Asymmetry, and Small Wars Operational Art, and the German East African Campaign, 1914 to 1918 a monograph by Major Kenneth P. Adji. The First World War in Africa, by Hugh Strachan. Oxford University Press, 2004. ISBN 978 0 7